Braden hit us up and he said, do you ever stop hating on Florida, bro? Uh, yes, I do, Braden. I, I, I do because I never start. I've never started hating on Florida. There are some things that people believe about me. And one of them is that pretty much half of the audience tends to think that they know who I like or don't like. And then there is a large chunk of any team who's been bad for a few years who thinks I hate their team because I've spoken truth about their team. Those same fans, in this case, Florida fans, use as evidence, I'm also a homer for their biggest rival, Georgia, because I have done crazy things like speak glowingly of Kirby Smart's team because they've won back-to-back national titles. So there's the hatred. I am in a business where I openly root for Florida to win. I am in a business where it is good for me when Florida wins. I hate they've been bad, just to make sure it's official and I'm on the record with how I feel about Florida. Love going down there. Love uh, 98% of the fan base. I know that this is not the majority, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so now that we've got the pleasantries out of the way, what did this stem from? Braden's not just talking because it's Sunday. Braden saw something, didn't he? What did he see? Colin, could you show me what I responded to earlier today? So there was an account on Twitter that chose to showcase the disparity between where Anthony Richardson got drafted and where Stetson Bennett got drafted. Richardson goes round one, pick four. Stetson Bennett goes round four, pick 128. And they put it out there like it was supposed to reflect positively on Florida. And I said, as you can see, this isn't the flex you think it is. And a bunch of folks came at me. Now, in fairness, most people got where I was coming from and they just said, hey, nice job. But a lot of Florida folks didn't. They came at me and said, oh, what? Now you're going to dunk on us again? What? Because we can't love our player? Love your player all you want to. Oh, we can't celebrate him just because we had a bad year? We can't celebrate Anthony Richardson going first round? I didn't say that. I'd celebrate him all day, twice since it's Sunday. You didn't single out Anthony Richardson. You compared him to Stetson Bennett. That's not celebrating your guy. It's trying to create some warped comparative analysis uh, that it, it executes the hardest thing that there has been to do lately, and that is show Florida as a greater than, in any comparison, to Georgia. So I looked at it and I said, what is this? Celebrate Anthony Richardson. Who's trash talking Stetson Bennett? The dude just won back-to-back national titles. So then it got worse. In the replies, some guy comes in. So I say some guy because I don't know him. And <laughs> these are always my favorite. He comes in and he says, hey, how much you want to wager on who plays more meaningful snaps in the NFL? Open that wallet since you like to flap them gums. And I said, sir, this also isn't the flex you think it is. He said, that's because you know who's going to play more meaningful snaps, writing checks the pitiful freights can't catch. The freights are the mascot of our hypothetical Pate State University, for those unfamiliar, our theoretical Pate State University. And I said, no, I think it's funny to brag about how faster you are than the guy who just lapped you in a marathon. It goes back to my premise. You want to celebrate Anthony Richardson, go for it. But if you want to compare Anthony Richardson to Stetson Bennett and do it from the perspective of a Florida Gators fan, this is not golf. It's not tennis. It's not an individual sport. And it boggles my mind how anyone could even find the gumption to open their mouth from the Florida side of the fence and speak ill of Stetson Bennett. This is a two-star dude who's a former walk-on that they got two national championships out of. It's not the flex you think it is to compare your first-round dude to their should-have-been-undrafted dude. Stetson Bennett on most any other roster is selling insurance right now. And instead, he plays at Georgia, and Kirby Smart does exactly what he's supposed to do. He surrounds him with a lot of talent, and he's a two-time national champion. I don't care what you think about his attitude. I don't care if you think he's going to play more downs in the NFL. That wasn't what the conversation was about. Now, I will give it to that guy. He did what I've always advised you guys to do. Anytime you're in a debate, the quickest way to find out if someone means what they are saying is to make them put money on it. Money is the great truth detector. It will shut people up quicker than you can imagine. 
He didn't do that with me, though. Like He thought he did, to credit for trying. But who's going to have the more successful NFL career? I couldn't care less about. Who's going to have the more successful NFL career? I wasn't talking about. I do, however, remember that Brock Purdy had a pretty good year last year as Mr. Irrelevant. But be that as it may, like I'm sitting there talking about how the two compared in college in a team game. And it's like, here, here's what that would be like. It's like, I walk into the room, I see you and your girlfriend, and I say, I think my girlfriend's prettier than yours. No offense, I just think she looks better than yours. And then you come back at me and say, I guarantee you mine's got higher SAT scores than yours. And I say, that's not what this is about. That's not what any of this is about. I'm talking H-O-T. I'm not talking S-A-T. Where did this even come from? And I'm looking at people talking about how they're going to fare in the NFL. And I'm asking, where does that even come from? So that was my back and forth today that I, I guess, voluntarily entered into. And I made sure underneath that tweet to shout out my folks over at Swamp 24-7, although I knew it would fall on deaf ears. And I said, guys, don't take this personally. Don't take this as me being a gator hater because we've come so far. But then they called me all sorts of derogatory names on Swamp 24-7, which is fair. I've come to expect it from that board. I still love you guys. I will say there are a couple of posters over there who suffer from chronic selective hearing because it goes back to this notion that I hate Florida, which is just stupid. Uh, but, it, but it exists. It goes back to that notion. And I go over there, and people are talking about how, oh, you never give Billy Napier a break. Let me tell you something. Two months ago, you guys had coaches hit the exit door, one after another after another. And the rest of the known universe was hating on Billy Napier and hating on Florida saying, uh-oh, mass exodus, rats jumping off a sinking ship. And I came on this show, and I said, uh, where did they go? The NFL? You're telling me the guy lost coaches to the NFL? You're telling me the guy hired coaches that were good enough to warrant consideration from the NFL? Yeah, yeah, that's what happened, Josh. Um, isn't that a testament to Billy Napier instead of a criticism? Stroke of the chin. I guess you have a point. Well, the Swamp 24-7 board didn't remember that. My Florida folks who were dunking on me today, they didn't remember that. And conversely, they said, all you do is praise Mario Cristobal because he came on your show a few times. Did anyone listen to me last fall when Miami was sucking water through a garden hose? Did anyone listen? No, that's what selective hearing is all about. You hear what you want to hear. You forget what you want to forget. Uh, hey, credit to them for getting Armstrong as well, defensive coordinator. Think it's a good hire. There's a reason Nick Saban wanted him. And Napier went and got him. Shined in the spring game. Offense didn't. Defense did. So anyway, I say all that to say I don't hate Florida. I just hate when people say I hate Florida, and that's the end.